Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, and we have Matt back in here with us this morning. And Matt comes all the way here from Los Angeles, California to get adjusted. Uh, this is his fourth trip to Houston to get chiropractic adjustments here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief. And uh, Matt has had problems with the low back and radiating out into his right leg, right sciatica, uh, in his the lower neck and right shoulder area but mostly out of his pelvis and the sacrum and SI joints going out into his right buttocks and down into his right leg and uh, you weren't able to even go to work when I first met you were you yeah no I was I was can pretty, you tell them your story what uh, happened to you I was pretty laid up I, I, when it first happened I fell down to my knees and uh, it was work at work related. I remember I was putting in screws at work, and then I, I didn't think nothing much of it. And then got home, couldn't uh, walk afterwards, and then I was pretty much crawling around everywhere after that. And I couldn't get better. Then I found him on uh, YouTube, and uh, I said I gotta I gotta come down here and try this guy out because. I went to my normal doctors and they wanted to give me uh, fusions and whatnot. I've already had epidurals and uh, minor back surgeries. So I came out here. There really is no such thing as a minor back yeah. surgery, by the way. Yeah, because yeah, <laughs> I had to learn how to walk again after the second one of those. Yeah, second minor back surgery? Yeah, second minor back surgery. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I came out here for a week and then uh, that worked out and I was able to walk again more and then came back out here again just I thought I needed like to get another two one, one or two more and then uh, I was fine I went back to work I was exercising everything was good again from the last time I came until like the day before Thanksgiving and then uh, I don't know what happened I think I maybe didn't drink a lot of water overdid myself didn't rest enough or something and then uh, yeah. And pain return. Yeah, pain return and then crawling around the house again. So I had to go through uh, Thanksgiving week off. And then uh, I said, I got to get down here so I can go back to work. And here I am. So that's why you're here all the way from California yeah. to get your life back in order so you can get back to your life, right? Yep. Okay, well, let's show them how we do that then. I'm going to have you close your eyes and flex your head forward and backwards for me, please, Matt. Then back to neutral. Now I always check a patient's posture out three-dimensionally on the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. His three-dimensional Cartesian coordinate system. And his head is forward in the z-axis, his ears all the way out here. But it's also translated to the right on the x-axis. That's why his right shoulder appears a little lower than his left shoulder. His right hand appears a little longer than his left hand, although it's not, it just appears that way due to his biomechanical configuration of the cervical thoracic spine region. Now, why is that important? Because when this heavy head is forward out here, it puts additional stresses and strains all the way down the spine, all the way down into his low back and the sacrum. So his forward head posture to the right is increasing the weight bearing down here in this right sacral and SI joint area, and that's where you're feeling a lot of pain, isn't it? Yeah, right there. Yep. So let's go ahead and adjust you here now first. I'm going to address the y-axis on him first because gravity's constantly pulling us down towards the earth every day 24-7. But right here, and we're doing all kinds of things in gravity, walking, sitting, sleeping, standing, playing sports, adjusting patients, working on the line, working in the refineries, whatever you may be doing, you're doing it in gravity. So if you're biomechanically subluxated or misaligned when you're doing those activities, your spine's going to wear and tear more. Now see how I have his legs up parallel with the floor here, which relaxes his paraspinal musculature from the sacrum all the way up to the occiput. And then I'm taking this wet towel and contacting the base of his occiput. I'm not choking him with the towel. We're just putting him around his mandible. And I do a straight vertical adjustment. It's a high velocity, low amplitude thrust on the y-axis. You 
feel that all the way down there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, every time. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and just put your, there you go. So let me have your neck here. Yep. I got you. That's it. Oh. Good job. Go ahead. I just got adjusted earlier, so you're getting the full expression of me now. And there go the, the tangles again. Yep. It's good. That means your nerves are working better again. Let's come over this way on your tummy next. So now I'm going to be addressing the X and the Z axes mostly. With the biophysics adjustment here. He's laying face down, which is called the prone position. One of the checks that we do as chiropractors is check the leg length. I don't look at the bottom of his feet. I look where the sole and the heel meet. And he's even today. That's better than it was yesterday, Matt. I bet you that didn't tighten up as bad as yesterday. Yeah, not as bad. No way. No way. So, he did still have a little bit of positive knockless, which his pelvis raised up and tightened up. So, I am still going to adjust his SI joints bilaterally. His sacrum straight superior to inferior, as well as in the Z axis, driving that away from L5, and then right on L5, straight P to A in the Z axis, L4, L3, L2. Oh boy, that was great. Now, see, he moves really good on this biophysics table, so I don't need to do the Gonstead knee chest adjustment on him because he actually moved great on this table. Now this should feel even easier to you this time, Matt, than the first one, does it? Yeah. Okay. Up at the end, though. Right, the very end? Okay. So see, I'm going to put some deep pressure in your lumbar musculature. This is the quadratus lumborum and multipedis and erector spiny muscles right down here at the base of your spine. I call it the pocket. This is just a deep steady pressure into the muscle bundle which helps to relax the muscle. It's one of those hurt so good treatments I'm at. It hurts while I'm doing it but it feels a lot better when I get done. Okay, so we got that. Now we're going to move on up into his cervical spine. Put the lordosis back into his cervical spine or the neck. There's seven vertebrae in the cervical spine. There it is. Good. There's 12 vertebrae in the thoracic spine and five lumbar vertebrae down in the low back, which is called the lumbar spine. And then you have the pelvis made up of a right ilium the sacrum and the left ilium. When you reference both of these ilium bones, they're called ilii, and sacroiliac is named that because it is the sacrum connecting and articulating with the ilium, so therefore sacroiliac joint. Okay, let's turn you on your back now. Now this adjustment, a lot of people think I'm adjusting people's cheeks, but I'm not. I'm actually just using that as a contact point to bring his whole head up and back over his spine, just like that. So I'm adjusting him in the y-axis, the z-axis, and the x-axis, because I'm rotating his head backwards on the x-axis to restore that cervical lordosis. And you can see now his ear is back here over his shoulders where it's supposed to be. So let's put your arms straight out to the sides, palms up now. Slide down just a tad, there you go. I'm adjusting his shoulders now, the acromioclavicular joint called the AC joint, the sternoclavicular joint here, and then now the costosternal joints, which are the, where the ribs meet the sternum in the front. I've already adjusted them in the rear, the costovertebral joints. Okay, you can relax your hands right there. Now, in this adjustment, I'm adjusting his knees 
his hip joints all the way up into his lumbar spine. This is really a decompression on the y-axis from the lower end, but I reseat the knee joints, the hip joints, and the lumbosacral joints with this. There you go. I almost pulled your shoe off on that one too. Yeah. Okay, let's hit you up face this way. No, just this one. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> Pull your shoes off, that means I got a good pull. Yeah. <laughs> and your right shoulder. Left shoulder. There we go. Right elbow, right wrist, digits. Now adjust all these joints in the spine and peripherally in his extremities because Anytime you move a joint through its fullest range of motion into the paraphysiological space, you stimulate a neurological proprioceptive reflex that goes from the joint up into the cerebellum and then back down into the joint, helping the muscles and the ligaments, musculoligamentous control over those joints alignment improves that in the cerebellum. So let's come over here and stand in front of the mirror. And that's what I'm doing with this adjustment as well. Okay, let's have you look forward and backwards again. Then neutral. Yep. Now this one I'm adjusting the atlas on the x-axis, which again sends proprioceptive neurological bombardment into the cerebellum, helping to retrain his proprioceptive neurological impulses from his cerebellum into the rest of his spine and musculoskeletal system. Let's go forward and backwards again. This should feel smoother. Very good. Take a look. Centered up pretty good right now. Yeah, that was a good pull right here. Yeah, it was. Very good. So Matt, what, what would you share with our crack addict audience around the world about your experience here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief because you've been to other chiropractors. Yeah, yeah, this this definitely works. This That's why I keep coming back. Right, right. Um, I mean, I'm still a little... This is not good. just a John across Houston to yeah. come here. This is John all the way across the United States yeah, to come here. Yeah, I'm, yeah, like I said, I'm from California and I gotta come all the way out here to get the best, so... But it's working for you, right? Yeah, yeah. That's why you keep coming back. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for sharing your story with everyone. Okay. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas. We'll see y'all soon.